Hello everyone, we've got some updates. First of all, we're off to Fort Penta and then South Hoof to see the new Welsh ponies, which are 800 star coins, which is... A, we'll just compare them to the old ones for price and quality. If the old ones are even there. Here we've got the little white one. A green-eyed horse. Also to be putting out there, there are some new horse games I've been looking into, such as Rival Stars, Astride, and That Horse Game. I will be putting up a video soon of That Horse Game's demo. And currently Rival Stars is a bit out of my price range at $40. And the Elden Ring, not a horse game, but a game I've been looking at, $60. Likely not going to be buying either of them, as money is something I need to be saving. In other life update news of, as of wonderful February 27th, I've designed a tiny home. There's likely no way I'm going to be building it. As I need funds and somewhere to have it. However, the fact of its existence is promising. At least as a rough first draft sketch. Been doing a little bit of my own packing. And hopes be as hopes do. Just as a wonderful reminder, let's go through our other options. We've got the Cinco Teak Ponies. We have the Gotland Ponies. And now we're going to be having the Welsh Ponies. Also, I figured out the reason I like this mare so much. My Yorvik Wild, Estelle, and I've named the bird Brenwyn. But I figured out why I like this. 
Now, I've always been drawn to gray, dapple gray, or brown horses. It's been more of bays as late. And I like Estelle's longer ears. Of which I have now linked to mules. It would be an ideal equine companion. As they are more sure-footed than horses. And likely can be ridden as one. As, unlike popular belief, they don't need... Like, extra prodding to jump and such things. They can, in fact, do anything a horse can. Now, I don't know where the second stair crow has come from. Fascinating development. The new ponies have taken where the old ponies were. Which leaves the question of, did they leave in the model or did they not? Let me check and see if this is every equine they photoed. Got the white at Fort Pinta, got the roan, the black, the flax and chestnut, the palomino, and the liver chestnut. Yes, that's everyone. So it's a good little mix. I, if I can actually scroll in, believe I have Dang it, I am blanking on the name. It's not a chingotique. Oh, I have a Connemara. So that is as small as I'm going for a horse. Do note there is a dapple gray with white mane and tail, Lost Pony, on the horse app. Also, it likes to be known that, da that the Alcalteque and Appaloosa horses of Generation 1.5 will be leaving April 6th. They're the first ones to get retirement. So let's hope that goes well. They're currently at Ferdinand's Market if you want them.
kind of like Pie Swamp. Did frick you guys? What? Okay, but what? By the way, for the Appaloosa and Alcal Tech, they will be safe in your ownership. So if you've bought them, then you won't have an issue. As always, I am on ePal for any orders. I really don't know how Patreon functions, but I'm on it. That's a new sound effect. Now, to enter, you enter, you let it adjust, and then you keep writing. Saga, Justin's horse is here. We could talk to Saga. Fast way out of the swamp. Well, that's awkward.
didn't even get to see that. But I'm not going to back it up, so I'm just going to assume it's the same books we saw from the Halloween. Where it's black, it looks gothic, it was on the ground, fuck it, I don't care. Make us actually have to click on the objects, please. And we'll finish the quest next time. Don't worry not. Next time will literally be right after this. So let me point as a thing. See you next time.